Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. We're back up at the potato patch. It's bright and early. It's gonna be a hot one today. So we all got up early this morning and we're gonna get these things up hopefully before it gets too hot. So I'm interested to see what the rest of our potato crop looks like. It's cut, throw it. Oh. Y'all look at here. Got us a good bacon potato here. The nice potato harvest. There's a pile of potatoes right there. You talk about some people who like potatoes, we like to see this right here. Holy cow, y'all, this might possibly be the best potato patch we've ever had. What do you think about those, Megan? I don't know what we're going to do with all of them. I don't know what we're going to do with all of them, and I don't think we've ever had this many big potatoes. Look. Look at that, y'all. Look at this. Look. Look at that. Holy cow, what a potato. This is unbelievable, y'all. Now... This is possibly, like I said, the best potato harvest we've ever had. Okay. And maybe not the many, most potatoes, but the uh, biggest potatoes, for sure. The big one. That's a nice one, ain't it, Maggie? Uh-huh. That thing is huge. This is huge. Maggie, that thing's big as your head.
Y'all ain't trying to brag or nothing. But we ain't never had a potato like this. Look at this. Oh my. That's a, that, that potato right there would feed two people easy. <laughs> and look at these. And these ain't the only ones. We got them in here like crazy. I've never, never had a potato crop do like this right here. So either, either the good Lord knows we're in for a bad winter or planting by the signs works one. I don't know which one it is. That'd be a little of both. And it's new ground. Let's give it that part too. Yeah, but we planted potatoes on new ground several times. We have, I know, but I don't know. Maybe the weather was just right on them. Something, something has, uh, something has caused us to be blessed with potatoes for sure. I, I've never seen one like that. This thing is huge. I get excited about potatoes, y'all. <laughs> y'all wonder why I just pitched that. It. it had a rotten spot on it. That's one thing about when you're putting your potatoes in. If you have one with a rotten spot, It'll make the ones around it rot too. So you want to make sure you get a, get rid of any that's got a rot spot. Well, let's go back through this row a couple more times. Might have possibly planted too many potatoes. This is the best turnout of potatoes we've ever had. Um, we've got a half a row left over here of Yukon Golds. And for anybody wondering, these rows were on about a, a roughly around 110 foot long. I just stepped it off. I mean, that's no exact measurements or nothing, but um, roughly about 110 I'm foot. <laughs> and uh, anyways, they done extremely well. So now I'm excited to see what we got from the Yukon Golds over here. That's one of my favorite potatoes, but we've noticed they don't store that well, so we don't plant that many of them. That's why we plant so many white ones. But um, let's see what we got under this row. Have your bucket, Maggie. This is it. There's a red one. Well, we got them done for the year. We picked one of the hottest days of the year to do it, but we did it early this morning, so it just now is really starting to get hot, and there's a little breeze blowing through here, so we survived, didn't yep. we? <laughs> um, I'm pretty tickled, though, with we we did not get we got half of this last year from a bigger potato patch so we're pretty tickled as far as that goes but we're gonna go home and get these put up in the dark let them cure for another two or three weeks and then we'll show y'all how we store them for the long haul one thing to think about when you're doing your potatoes is be gentle with them you see how the the skin's peeled off of them now that's fine at least in our experience this doesn't really cause no harm in that while they're laying here in this trailer, they'll kind of scab over and it doesn't really cause a problem. But um, that's why you let them lay and let them cure. And they really should be spread out. But I don't think we got a spot big enough we can spread out this many potatoes. <laughs> so they'll stay right here in this trailer and we've had good luck with that in the past. Um, rather really just keep them in a dark, cool spot and then we'll store them under the house for the winter time. But anyways, we appreciate y'all watching. Now I got to get to work and get this potato patch sowed in some buckwheat. Um, but we appreciate y'all watching. I guess we'll catch you on the next one.